Okay, we're talking to the number one female on Vine, Brittany Furlon. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Brittany, tell us, how did you become number one in less than a year? That's remarkable. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, in less than a year, I don't even know how it happened. I, th I just started making videos. I was bored. I saw, you know... Uh, someone promoted the app on Instagram, and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. Let me try it. And so I just started making all these videos, and and people just started liking them progressively. And I started seeing my following going up, like, inching, inching up. And then all of a sudden, boom, it just, like, whoo, it started catapulting. It's just been really fun. It's 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 amazing. It's to be funny in six seconds is actually really hard. I mean, it's you have six seconds to make someone laugh. Like, that's... Usually when you tell a joke, you get to build for at least a minute, you know what I mean? But with, with this, it's like, you have to be funny. So, I mean, you know what? I, sh I Now that I'm at, like, over 300 posts, I'm starting to <laughs> struggle with ideas because I've done so many ideas. But uh, I will only post if I find something really, if I find it funny, you know? I mean, some stuff hits, some stuff doesn't. But, I mean, I find, you know, if I'm laughing, then I'm like, okay, I'll post it. Why not, you know? So, I'm so random. Like, my characters and my ideas just come from walking around and, like, looking at things or looking at videos or whatever. And I, I was just out one day at the mall. And I just, I think it's so funny because in L.A., whenever I go somewhere, I feel like there's always just, like, little kids unattended. Like, where are their parents? You know what I mean? I always just wanted to say something like, where are your parents type thing. So instead, I made a joke out of it. Like, I was like, I'm going to creep on these little kids. And so I went up, the first one I did was where I went up to this, this little girl was in the gaming store, and her mom was, like, out in the mall. And her little brother was with her, and he kept calling her and calling her, and she wasn't coming. And so I went up to her, and I was like, I'm going to creep on this little girl. And I was like, hey, little girl, where's your mommy? And her face was just like, like, she could not believe, like, what was happening. And then you hear her brother, like, no! And, like, she, like, runs off with her brother. It was hilarious. And people were like, oh, my God, you're going to get arrested. But I'm literally just going up to them being like, where's your mom? Like, go find your mother. It's, but I'm just doing it in a funny way. I, I came up with this character, the beekeeper, who has a mustache like the beekeeper. He's a redneck hick. Uh, I came up with him when I was watching a Mickey, Nicki Minaj video, and she had that song, Bees in the Trap, Bee, Bees, you know, in the trap. And I was like, what a weird thing, like, bees in your vagina? Like, that's kind of, like, really uncomfortable. <laughs> like, that sounds very uncomfortable, actually. Yeah. So I thought, how funny would it be if I was like, hello, y'all, I'm a beekeeper. If you need any, I'll get all the bees out your trap. You know what I mean? So I just created this character, and I did it for the first time on Vine, and people were like, oh, my God, the beekeeper. And they loved it, and they demanded more beekeeper. And so then I established, like, jokes with the beekeeper, where I would do, like, daily jokes with the beekeeper you know like uh you know just i would have like a little intro and then like why does a bee drive a car and just like really lame jokes and like i don't know he's a fucking bee and then just drink alcohol like <laughs> just like the worst joker he's like joker ever and just like a beekeeper who doesn't even really keep bees i don't know he's been like this crazy character that i've been developing and then i've developed a bunch of characters off of him like i have um Abdul Shien, who's like a sick yoga teacher who just like wants to molest people, like, you know, girls, like just like all horny, you know, that yoga teacher when you go to yeah, yoga class so and they put like you that. in the position and they just have like a huge boner and you're like, all right, well, uh, I'm good, I'm stretched, thanks. <laughs> like, it's very, so I have him and then I have like Natalie Nature. Natalie Nature, who is like, you know, she only eats organic and she's like all the vegans in LA and she believes in like, you know, not wearing fur and just, very, like she loves trees and her tagline is I love it and people are like obsessed like people love it they love it they love it <laughs> they do it all the time they make their own videos like cause Natalie Nature is basically just like the extreme of all those people in LA that are like hey my god like you know I can't really like touch that since that touched an animal you know like they're very so she basically um which I'm not hating on those people cause I love animals and I don't believe I mean I'm not vegan, but yeah. You know. um, but yeah, so basically, <laughs> Natalie Nature, like her first video was that like she just hugged a tree and she's like, Welcome to my backyard. This is my tree. I love it. Like, just loves everything. I love it. Look at this bush. I love it. Like, just loves nature so much. So then people make their own videos and it's really funny. Like, they'll hold up like their dog and they'll be like, This is my dog. I love it. Like, so I have had so much fun and I've had so much fun watching people's remakes that's the really it's been like it cracks me up seeing people do their own impressions and they get into it like they put the headbands and the sunglasses and like whatever it's it's awesome